What's up guys, it's Division Leader Dynamic 2839. Today I am bringing one of my favorite games, this is Mass Effect. Okay, let's get started. Now, uh, one thing I will say about Mass Effect is that uh, it's a different type of generic gaming. It's kind of like a space shooter uh, slash ex exploration RPG. It's it's just more of an uh, an RPG shooter, I guess, if you want to put it in that that frame of uh, of uh, gaming. But um, it's a really fun game. I mean, uh, basically. Uh, you can uh, travel the universe, and as you can see here, we're inside the uh, ship that you own. Uh, this is the Tempest, and it's really cool because the window like lets you see the current area your ship is docked at. So whenever you're like docked at a planet or a certain part of the universe, you can literally go to the bridge you and like see the expanse to see exactly what's out there in the distance. So it's really cool. Um, you know, I'm checking my email now. So that, yeah, the captain or you're you're the captain the, the main character you play with is the pathfinder and the pathfinder is the i guess he's like the guy who helps uh search or find for new worlds for humans to colonize so we're trying to colonize a new world or find a world for humans to live in besides the milky way galaxy since we're in andromeda now hey, lexi your dad was turian that explains so much what's that supposed to mean little conversation here you know how uptight you are. I am not uptight. Yeah, I like how. Uh, not even three hundred years old and fussing at us like a matriarch. I'm a doctor. Fussing's part of the job. Okay, so yeah, um, this is one of the main characters here. You get, uh, she's your right partner. We were right about the vault on Aya, huh? What a find. And this meridian. Might I'll try not to talk during others. most of the conversation I scenes. I knew hitching my wagon to yours would pay off. And as you can see, the character, uh, or the Pathfinder, the main character here? I'm playing with, um... Back home, she was upper crust. An everyone knows who this guy is. He's, like, famous in, like, the life. whole, like, you know, miserable. human colonies. Everyone knows who he is. She said. With her position, the initiative I don't even think anyone knows his real name. Everyone just calls him the Pathfinder. Like, first oh, hey, Pathfinder. Oh, there's the Pathfinder. Oh, there's the Pathfinder. was the one who got me thought out early. I'm still grateful for that. But things went south soon. She hurt me. Pretty badly. What happened? Oh, let's not drum up that sob story. It's all water under the bridge. Yeah, one thing about Mass Effect is that uh, how are you getting along with? You're the actually team? able to choose well, different uh, conversational uh, points. Exactly what I'd expected for each character. Jell, you have to build a relationship. I'm learning with uh, each of your teammates. We're lucky to have uh, whether you talk us. to them in a nice a way, or you want to talk to them like you want to date species. them, or you want to talk to them like you don't like them. Uh, the options are there. Boundaries. I'm certainly not looking to reproduce anytime soon, but he seems like a good guy. Yeah, what her species think? is called the Asari. Uh, they're actually from the Milky Way galaxy, just like humans. Uh, they're you all like blue people. Uh, they Thanks, live Spider. averagely for a thousand years, so they look at humans as if we're we're like. Everything We're like kids to these, these people. These people, uh, the Asari, are very, uh, is connected to very intelligent. Uh, they can the pretty bots, much mate monoliths, with any type of like living organism, so they can mate with humans uh, in this universe of a uh, game. Uh, this in Mass Effect, Asari's have mated with humums. So you think we're doing the right thing? Well, yeah. Yeah, averagely they live for one thousand years. They Thanks have a, <laughs> we'll talk again. an average age span of one thousand years. But she's a young one. I think I think she's only like two hundred years old. <laughs> she doesn't even look like it. <laughs> I think she's like two hundred. She might be a hundred. I'm not sure. I heard her talking about it earlier in the game. You gotta play the older Mass Effects to actually get an idea of what the Asari really were about. Really cool uh, character idea. Okay. Um. So now I'm at the top of a. Uh, Tempest. Uh, the ship is called a Tempest. Uh, this was given to us uh, for our explorations across Jell? Andromeda. Thank you for checking. But I'm okay. Right. So this guy's name is Jaw. Jaw is like uh, I have to be. How else his people are from Andromeda. So yeah, we picked this guy up here in Jell? this galaxy. He's not from the Milky Way I like uh, the tough, humans and Asari's are. Have a good shoulder. That's kind. You're so he's always like really weird when he talks and what about the resistance? Awkward. 
<laughs> My place I don't understand you. <laughs> is not what I'd like. But that kid on Aya looked up to you. Sure. But you are going to do something important, Ryder. I feel it. This is where I should be. Glad you're along for the ride. Me too. Yeah, so, uh, there's a lot of different missions. And a lot of people who play this game, they thought it sucked because it was not enough action. But what you don't realize is that, uh, what they didn't tell people is that a lot of action is in this game. They aren't just conquerors. Yeah, this is my, uh, slavers. one of my they teammates here. Turn everything you She's my favorite sidekick because she does Let's biotic power. She's like an Asari. She's a the human, but she has Asari people. abilities. And Asaris are psychics. They have telekinetic uh, abilities. They can move stuff with their minds. Uh, she is uh, for the an exceptional human let who has away. the same ability as Asari. So she can move stuff with her mind as well. I, I like uh, her as my sidekick because whenever I go into battle, she like this is really getting she's doing like Asari combat tactics. It's like she'll shoot her gun and then like she'll pick up a box together. with just like the thought of her Spend mind and like she'll throw it at the enemy. And I'm like, wow, she's so awesome. Her name's Cora. Yeah, Cora, Cora is one of my favorite. Just, I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. If his experience fell through, he always had smarts to fall back on. And now, Nasira, your father, they always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The Initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it. We're flying blind. Yeah, my best team is uh, Korra and the Turian. There's uh, a female Our Turian on the ship. The uh, I take them as my teammates. Work goes on, I guess. Sarissa will have a strategy. Turians are known for like their sniping ability. Basically, the they're side. good with sniper rifles. They're Maybe they're really intelligent species. They're from the Milky Way uh, galaxy as well too. So, uh, the humans know who they are. You, you'll see the Turian here shortly. I'm gonna make my way uh, to the back of the ship. This is where our maintenance bay is. This is where uh, we have uh, this really awesome like. Uh, I can't call it. A, it's like more of a military vehicle. Uh, it's like a tank slash ATV. I don't know. But pretty cool. Pathfinder. Okay. Uh, so this guy is what you no, call a Krogan. Krogans are a very uh, guy like that will strong to species. Get ahead. Just of uh, far he went. people. Um, they also live in the Milky Got Way. Humans know them. Uh, they know of humans. Does a pie jack uh, they're like a reptilian butt. race that are intelligent. Um, Tell me more about fighting cat. Shoot stuff, but someone has die. somehow, uh, I guess, me. Uh, the Salarians. Uh, I'm, I'm getting too deep into this now, but the Salarians uh, attack their we can talk more uh, species by... Uh, sure. Implanting them with a genetic that stops them from breeding because the Salarians thought that the Krogans were too violent and they don't need to be in the galaxy anymore. So um, humans interfered with that. You'll see that in Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3 um, where humans actually stopped uh, the Salarians' uh, uh, plan to destroy all Krogan library. by genetically, Thanks. basically making them uh, unfertile. Like, it, it just, they just couldn't new. have children. I'll keep you posted. So it, uh, the Krogan's uh, numbers have died down drastically. Like they, uh, they, they are still in the space. Obviously, they still fight. You can still hire them for contracts. Obviously, I have one here on my ship. He works for me. Um, yeah. So uh, you, you can. I actually walked up to that dude in the game and I asked him like do you want to join my team like he doesn't have to join your team like that's the cool thing about Mass Effect is that you can pick and choose who you want to be on your team or who you don't want to be on your team it's a choice uh, selection Bioware the developing company did a great job with that it made the game more interesting <laughs> you know like you can choose who you wanted to like fight with and whose story you wanted to follow up on okay so here we are we're back on the bridge. Uh, this is where you would uh, control the Tempest, the ship, to go to your next location or uh, next quest um, that you wanted to do. So, all right. So here, here is what it looks like when you go to the ship and you want to move to another location. All right. So I'm looking at the galaxy uh, or this solar system. I'm getting out of this solar system. Now I'm looking at Andromeda. This is Andromeda, the galaxy. So now I'm choosing. A different solar system to go to and it's really cool because one thing about Andromeda it lets you know there's a black hole in the middle of every 
galaxy and you can see the black hole there but okay so i'm going to uh this this uh solar system and you can see the cutscene is pretty cool it shows it, it doesn't show the ship but it shows the screen move through a wormhole like like so we're going through a wormhole and then you can see yourself you know break into the the solar system that you wanted to go to see how that's so cool i like how you did that uh in the other mass effect games you just saw the ship moving through space you didn't actually get an idea of like where it was going or the graphical design of that nature um it just was like you, you, you just saw the normandy and normandy was just moving through space at like supersonic speeds but see look at this that's so cool like it actually shows you each planet and you ride up on it you know that's that that's that ps4 generation xbox one generation graphics right there you see it at work um okay so this is the planet and uh i'm gonna land on this planet to start this particular quest this is eos so this planet is called eos uh this is actually the first planet that you find uh let me choose my weapons there okay so we're gonna land on eos okay so this is actually the first planet that you come across uh when you first start the game and basically that you, you have to colonize we have to colonize this planet for humans to live on you know so um i've already colonized it i already have humans living here i've already figured out what i had to do on this planet you know i'm about maybe 15 hours into the game at this point but uh yeah you'll you uh, land on this planet and this is this is actually gameplay like the actual gameplay when you land on a planet and there's a lot of different planets you can land on i love this guy's suit <laughs> he kind of reminds me of dynamic <laughs> Okay, well let's uh, let's go forward. Uh, so as you can see, uh, you see the base up ahead. That base, uh, I uh, helped install on this planet. So it, this this planet is very uh, very safe, uh, I should say. More like when you when I first arrived to this planet in the beginning of the game, it was a lot of it was dangerous. You know, the environment wasn't breathable. Uh, I had to stay inside this vehicle right here. This is called the Nomad. Uh, this is the military vehicle I was speaking of before. This thing is sick. Uh, this thing can literally ride up the side of mountains. It can fall and take no fall damage. I can literally jump off a cliff, fall like a thousand feet, and like this vehicle will take very little damage. Um, it's a really cool addition they added to uh, Mass Effect. Uh, they had a similar vehicle in Mass Effect 1, if anyone remembers that. Um, and it was really cool to go drive around planets and you know fight enemies and get off the vehicle and stuff like that. One thing that the vehicle does is that it sustains your life. So uh, if you need life support, you know, like at some points you'll be on planets where you can't stand outside very long. You have like five minutes before your your suit can't sustain uh, livable conditions for for your character. So you get inside the Nomad. The Nomad will protect you with any planet you're on. It doesn't matter what planet you you arrive on or cold or if it's too hot you know or it's just poisonous air you know like the nomad you can always get inside of it and travel around with no problems wow that sure is a sight yeah so uh i'm just kind of like cruising around here i'm looking for something this is the quest i'm doing okay so i'm going to show you some battle sequences here this is how the battle is in this game and it's really cool it's a third person shooter um as you can see here i got the assault rifle i got a cora on my right see the burst and I, I put up my own shield there this is uh an ability uh, that Turians use um, I literally can put the shield down wherever I want to and it protects me from gunfire or uh, now what I just did there I threw a uh, biotic ability <clears throat> now my human is like a, an Asari also it's like he's like Korra uh, I like Asaris because they're psychic uh, fighters so basically I have the ability to move stuff with my mind as well too so yeah that ball of energy you see there I, I threw that and, and it does do damage to enemies it will kill an enemy uh if i hit them directly with it um and it sits there for some time actually so you can't even defend against it uh really really awesome uh abilities the asari or i should say biotics biotics have in a uh, mass effect okay so yeah there's just two biotics on my team uh, me and cora <laughs> we were like we're, we're awesome biotic uh user uh combat users i should say and jaw i have jaw there um on my left so the only reason why i have jaw is because he's from this galaxy and he has like special side quests or conversations 
that pop up because of the fact that you know this is his universe so i run into a lot of his type of uh people in the game so that's the only reason why i have him because if, if not him i would i would I took uh the tori is uh like i said good for a sniper she's good for distant shooting you know she likes to sit in the background and attack uh my enemies from a distance so i like i like her for that reason but uh yeah i just need cora me and cora we actually handle the battles really well uh Jaw is also like a uh, sniper himself, but uh, I think the Turian is better, personally. Okay, so now I'm just like uh, traveling in inside the Nomad uh, around Eos and, you know, uh, doing this quest here. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of enemies over there. Holy crap. Man, and they're shooting at me. I'm just going to ignore that and keep going. Okay. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, as you can see, the game is actually pretty huge. This is why I like this this Mass Effect is because it gave you a really big expanse to explore. It wasn't like Mass Effect, you know, two and three, where the expanse was like, you know, you, it was basically linear. Like you had to go directly to your location. You knew it directly where you had to go. It wasn't too much, you know. You, I mean, there there was option for you to do the game differently, and there was DLC. DLC allowed you to like have different characters you can add onto your team. Um, but the best thing about uh, Mass Effect uh, was the fact that uh, you know you, you can actually explore different areas and, and having a, a wide expanse. This one has a really wide expanse. This 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 version of Mass Effect actually got a lot of hate. I don't even know why. Like people were like hating on this Mass Effect, and I I, I thought it was bad until I actually targets. purchased it, and I was like, wow, this is actually a good game. It's not bad. It's actually pretty big. I mean. One thing I do miss, uh, in Mass Effect 1, you can have up to, like, three, three, uh, NPCs follow with you in, uh, in combat. And then as the games progressed, it just became two. So I don't like the fact that I only can take two people with me. Mass Effect 1 was awesome because the, the very first Mass Effect, you, it was four of you all together. You know, you had the vehicle like this, Nomad here. You could travel to planets and the ending, and I mean, everything was as awesome like mass effect outdid itself in part one the part two was 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 actually one of my favorite part two i think outdid mass effect one when it came to story now the gameplay or if we're talking about gameplay for mass effect the mass effect one had better gameplay than mass effect two mass effect two seemed kind of linear when it came to gameplay like you always knew where the enemies were you always knew what teammate was going to do what at what situation in time like mass effect one it was like all over the place you didn't know what was going on so right now i'm using four by four yeah th th this nomad has an ability to go four by four you can uh press l1 on your control pad and this vehicle here in andromeda mass effect andromeda can literally go up any cliff or side mountain it's crazy that's another thing i loved about this game um was that the, the vehicle they included this nomad here can go up any side of any mountain if you just press the 4x4 mode, and I, I thought that was so awesome. Uh, okay, but yeah, back to like talking about no uh, Mass Effect uh, 1, Part 1. Uh, so Mass Effect 1 was awesome. You know, it, um, it, it had the uh, uh, four, you had, you had a four people total, you know, including yourself in, in combat. Uh, you had the vehicle, and you can use on different planets. And it was a very uh, long game. It wasn't short, you know, it, was, it had a lot of hours in it. You can see all of Prodromos from up here. It was a really cool... Uh, really cool uh, game uh like i said two outdid it when it came to story but the combat i think was worse mass effect one had the best combat you know i even now i think mass effect one had better combat than this game even though this is a newer game i think mass effect one had better combat scenarios yeah but two two had the best story Mass Effect 2 was the best storyline. It was it was awesome. I love Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect 3 had the best endings. <laughs> if you want to go with endings, if you like a person that likes endings like me, like endings make the game. Another news receiver down. Okay, so we just uh, placed a uh, satellite here on the top of this uh, mountain or cliff. Uh, so uh, the humans back in the main colony can follow up with news reports for this place. See, look, look at this. I'm jumping off the side of a cliff. Nothing. Look, no damage, bro. Look at that. Boom! Nothing. I love driving a Nomad. Nomad's awesome. Okay, so, um, yeah, but what I was saying is that, uh, yeah, I just placed a satellite up there. That was a quest. 
the uh, I just finished the quest. Okay, we're in Tempest. Tempest is right here. Um, Tempest is on my left. You see the ship there. That that's that's my uh, my main ship. I'm the captain of that one. All right. So now we, the Pathfinder, uh, we're going back onto the, the Tempest. You know, and uh, we're gonna leave this planet because we're done with that quest. I just I just needed to place a satellite on on uh, that mountain there, so the rest of the human colony can have news updates about what's going on here in, on EOS. So EOS now has a form of communication with the outside uh, galaxy or within Andromeda, so other humans in different parts of the galaxy knows they know what's going on. Okay, so um, yeah, uh, so what's happening now is that uh, I'm choosing different missions. Uh, you can actually research, uh, you know, different races of aliens. Uh, you know, any information you find while playing the game, it gets logged into your little data book. So you can research all that stuff whenever you get free time. This game is very uh, informational. There's a lot of information in this game. Uh, it's really fun. I, I like games like this. Ascent is go. Yeah, Mass Effect has to be one of my favorite uh yeah. All clear. Engineers or just titles in, in, in general, just for gaming. You know, I love Mass Effect. Um, okay, so uh, so we're back on the Tempest. We're back on the bridge. Uh, and as you can see, nothing is really going on. Nothing really crazy happens on the ship, except for, like, sometimes your teammates get upset. You know, um, we have to go talk to each one. Like I said, you have to build relationships in this game. And the relationships will decide if you... Uh, can date that person you, O'Connell and Serena or months you know be enemies with that person or you can even like keep them from your team you can send them back to like you know the, the main colony Bill? so that alien there he's one of my uh can hear you. I'm just not listening. he's one of my uh pilots You're fighting again I'm thinking he's a solarian so the, this is what a solarian looks like uh yeah um they're the ones who kind of like uh Liam says he's planning a movie night. Gave the Krogans their uh, inability to reproduce. He's off because but, yeah, they, they didn't, didn't like, they don't like right Krogans. After seeing the Krogans don't like Solarians. But now there's a delay. Okay, I so um, every vid's better with snacks. She's my right? other pilot. I have two. I, I have a main pilot and I have a co-pilot. For these little morsels you can make from a local Helios plant, but it's rare and. I don't know. I kind of missed the guy from the other Mass Effects. Oh, like you? they had the same pilot to, from know, part one, two, and three all. The same pilot played in all those games, and he was funny. His name was Joker. He he was so hilarious. He was like this, like I don't know, like he was like this dude who like wore like a baseball cap and like used to crack jokes all the time. But he was like an exceptional pilot. Like he was like a genius whenever it came to flying aircraft. So he got us out of a lot of situations in the past games. Um, but now these are the two new pilots you saw earlier. Uh, yeah, the the girl and the Solarian. Those are the new ones for this game. They're cool. I mean. Not as funny as Joker, but uh, yeah. Here's Cora. Asking for more trouble. What is she doing? Uh, she's maintaining. That vault on Aya was so gorgeous, so alive. And Meridian might be the key to the others. No wonder the Archon wants to control it, like everything in Helios. How's the search for the Asari Ark going? Still deciphering the Ark's last known course from the flight recorder. And making sure we're ready for a fight. Any more commando war stories? We once infiltrated a dangerous cult by posing as new initiates. Belenza hated it. She was like our padre. The cult, that perversion of faith, really upset her. How did you stop them? Nasira pretended that Valenza needed to be purified of evil. She was given a private audience with the cult leader. Valenza shot her, and then prayed for her. <laughs> wow. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. They have some interesting war stories. Like, you can go up to each of your teammates, and you can ask them, like, what their experience is. Like, you know, like, what did you do before you you joined the initiative? Or what did you do before you, you know, joined my team here on the Tempest uh, spaceship? And they'll tell you some crazy stories. And I'm just like, wow, like... A lot of these people were involved in like spy situations, like you know, or just like government, like Looks you know, like pictures of the uh, scenarios. Yeah. Yeah. This is the other Can person I like. This is a Turian. Made medical equipment could be a lead. So yeah, between Cora, the, the woman you just saw, and this woman, the Turian, and yeah, she doesn't well, look like a woman, right? But uh, Sarah. that's a woman, uh, Turian. Um, they're also from the Milky Way galaxy. Uh, Cora and 
Korra and uh, this Turian here, they're, they're my favorite uh, team here. I choose. So it was combat. so little when our father left, and I was, well, her age now. Yeah, like I said, the Turians are really good with sniper rifles. Come on, you're strong, smart. It'll take a lot to keep you from coming home. Strong, smart, but maybe just lucky. Luck runs out on you. I won't. I have a good feeling about you, Ryder. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? Okay, so I think I visited every compartment in the ship. I mean, there's a few other compartments uh, I can visit. Okay, I'll, I'll see what else is left. Uh, other than that, I'm going to start the next quest. Okay. Continue forward. Okay. Alright, there's a Nomad. See the Nomad? Yeah, this is our maintenance bay, by the way. This is All the maintenance happens back here in the back yeah? of the ship. When's the last time you had a normal conversation? This is She's always arguing. Oh my god, that, that a sorry girl. Um, okay, uh, we're going to continue forward. To back to the uh, bridge. And there's Eos. Like I said, you can see every planet you dock in front of. It's so cool. Like, in the window. No it's so awesome. Okay, so there, there's uh, Eos. <sighs> we're going to back out of this. We're done with Eos. We're done with the solar system. So we're going to go back at the map for Andromeda. The galaxy. There we are. So that's Andromeda. Uh, our next quest is... Well, let me choose one. See the black hole there in the middle of the galaxy. Alright, so we're going to head over here. Okay, sweet. Wormhole time. Boom. Awesome. Yeah, I like the travel uh, cutscene they give you. Gavorka, approaching Kadara. Besides being a haven for Nexus exiles, what do we know about this place? A group of exiles called the Outcasts liberated Kadara okay. port from the Ket. Until recently, uh, I've never Kadara been here before, absolute, actually. But a new gang, the Collective, has been shipping it away. Real shady bastards, led by an unknown called the Charlatan. Well, with luck, they'll be too busy shooting at each other to notice Looks us. Looks like I found something special and over here. Found... Yeah, so whenever you find, like, an anomaly, you can, like, uh, send a, shoot a scanner out there like I just did. And then, uh, you can fly up toward it, or up close to it like I'm doing now. We'll, we'll see what this is that I just, I just, uh, located. Oh, it looks like, a yeah, this is, like, debris. Debris from a, uh, destroyed starship. Um, more than likely it's the Ket. Uh, the enemies in this, uh, galaxy are the Ket. I mean, the Milky Way, you know, back when, where Earth is, Earth, the planet Earth, there was a lot of enemies in, in that, uh, in the Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. But in, uh, Mass Effect Andromeda, uh, the enemies are Ket, as of, as we know now. So that was a starship destroyed, it probably, more, like I'm thinking, uh, more than likely, uh, it was Ket, or one of Jaws, uh, people, uh, one of their starships. Because, like I said, humans have never been to this galaxy. This, we're, we're the, actually, we're the initiative. I'm the Pathfinder. This is our first time setting foot in this galaxy, or our, or in space. Okay, so I've never been to this planet. Um, there's a quest here. I'm gonna try and uh, complete. Be ready for anything, and keep comms open. Should hear from our resistance contact soon. Okay, so uh, like like I said, I'm more of a person. I like uh, when I play RPGs, I like to do all the side quests first. You know, I'm the person that wants to do all the side quests. Uh, whenever there is like a like main quest that kind of push forward the main story, I kind of avoid that because I think it ends the game too quickly. That's pretty cool. See the black hole? There's a black hole right right there in the background. So awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, um, yeah, I've never been here before. Okay, so and each each planet has a different cutscene for the call. ship to land. Patching it through. There's been a development regarding the spy Venturev, rendezvous at Crawler's Song. Your contact's code name is Shayna. Shayna. Got it. Yeah, so uh 
yeah, each each planet has a different cutscene for you can actually see your ship through the little landing scene. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. You know, it's never like it's never like the same exact scene. Like right now, like you see how my ship is landing. I've never seen this before. Each planet has its own landing scene. I think I think that's so cool. The Tempest has landed. <laughs> okay. That's one hell of a welcome sign. Exiles have stepped up their game since the revolt. Okay, so I, I know what's going on. Okay, so um, basically, uh, not too shabby for folk who got kicked off the station with nothing to show for it. Yeah. Uh, this world. Maybe we can get them back on our side. Is uh, colonized by checked. the humans that were kicked off. Uh, Come on, we're gonna be late. The main colony we have here Do in Andromeda. Do I even want to know? Basically, these are all the bad boys and girls. All the bad boys and girls who broke all the rules in the main colony for humans were basically, they all came to this planet. So, this is like the hood of, uh, of humans here in uh, Andromeda as of now. <laughs> I remember this planet. They were talking about it earlier in the game. Okay, so, um, yeah, you want to deal with any, like, uh, smuggling or, you know, just bad people in general this is the place you want to come to to make extra credits or extra money uh you can i think you can even gamble in this place they have a poker uh it's po i heard someone talking about poker uh on this planet all right so that's my scanner which you just saw me do there scanning you can scan pretty much anything but that's how you uh unlock a lot of secrets too by using your scanner you can scan anything in the game it's pretty awesome Okay, seems like I gotta go, uh, I gotta go this way. Okay, let's go this way. Whoa, what's going on right there? We always do. No more talking. It's like one of Jaws people. You know, this, yeah, this place is mixed up. There's a lot of different species and races of people here. Yeah. What the heck? What are you doing to these people? Nothing they weren't expecting. Port's got two rules. No guns and pay your protection fees. Wow. So what's that you're holding? Outcasts don't have to abide by the rules. Just enforce them. You got a problem with that? You can join these assholes. Whoa. Pathfinder, it will be difficult to find the spy if you're barred from the city. Guess that's true. What was that? Nothing. I'll be on my way. Creep. Man. They just go hard. They don't even care. Just beat people out in the middle of the street like that. Like, broad daylight. Bar or club I found. Okay. Hey, you wanna slice each other up? Do it outside my bar. Hey! Piss off. You order, you pay. I said. <laughs> you look like you're waiting for someone. And she looked kind of upset, like placing down the glasses. <laughs> like, I've got time. I don't want to give you this drink. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Bottoms up. Shayna, but you can call me Reyes. I hate the code names. I was expecting someone more. Angaran. <laughs> the resistance pays me to supply information, among other things. So you're a smuggler. Your man, Venterev, was arrested by Sloan Kelly, leader of the outcasts. Word spread about what he did to Moshe Sefa. The people are calling for his execution. And Sloan? <laughs> She's a woman of the people. Okay. 
I like her already. Well, she doesn't like you. She's never met me. You work for the Initiative. Sloane was part of the uprising on the Nexus. I doubt she'll give Ven up easily. Uh, yeah, she was part of the uprising for uh, those humans Maybe she kicked off the main colony and sent over here to this planet. There might be another way to get to Ven. You work Sloane. I'll talk to the Resistance. Okay, so we're gonna go meet Sloan. How do I contact you if things go south? What the heck does that mean? He like literally hey, winked his eye. Like, pay. how do I meet you? Keep the change. Always do. That bartender is like, <laughs> like for no reason, just like mean. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah, we're gonna go see Sloan, and supposedly what uh, Reyes just, just told us, uh. He said Sloan uh, was one of the original people who started the uprising back on the Nexus. And the Nexus is the main, you know, uh, colony of humans that are in space waiting for the Pathfinder and the Tempest to find new worlds to colonize, you know. So, um... Interested in the Collective's services? How do you know who I am? The Collective makes a point of knowing everything and everyone worth knowing in Helios. You sound more like information brokers than pirates. The two aren't mutually exclusive. Okay, so uh, he's part of a. Who is the uh, I guess you would call a no gang, a local a gang. Answer. There's like I think there's the a collective, a leader and, a private and there's individual. another gang Even also. I, I think Reyes person. is part of, and then there's like three total gangs in this, in this world. Um, but he's I've part of the collective. Representatives, people who speak for the charlatan and carry out their will. Whoever the charlatan is, man or woman, they provide information, care. Resources. It's ours. That's enough for me. I'm having trouble nailing down what the Collective is, exactly. Understandable. We aren't one thing. Think of us as a service provider. We cater to our clients' needs. Even if that means killing and stealing from people. Survival is an ugly business, Pathfinder, but unlike the outcasts, we aren't governed by hate. If the initiative proved reasonable, I'm sure the charlatan would be willing to work with the Nexus. Let's say I was interested in joining your little gang. How would I do that? You're more high profile than our usual members, but it's up to the charlatan who joins. If you have potential, our leader will reach out to you, usually through a representative. And then what? For some, that's it. Others may have to pass a test. It's different for every recruit. Wow. Thanks for your time. Of course, Pat. Peace out, bro. Of course. So we got the collective to worry about. All right, so uh, as we go through here, um, we're going to meet Sloan. Like I said before, uh, Reyes told us that she's like one of the main leaders here on this planet. Sam, tell me about Sloan Kelly. Before joining the initiative as head of Nexus Security, Miss Kelly served in the Alliance with a nearly spotless record. Nearly? She was involved in multiple altercations with other officers. A hothead. Great. Alright, so I think Sloan is in this building. Okay, so we're gonna go see her. Like I said, she was one of the original uprisers back on the main human colony, so she, she cannot be a good person. Focus defenses here and here. The cat have been quiet for too long. What? That's quite the throne. Should I bow? Kiss your ring? Very funny. So, what brings a pathfinder to our humble port? Venturev. Name ring any bells? What's he to you? And don't lie to me. I need him so I can infiltrate a Ket flagship. You've obviously got no love for the Ket. I'm doing you a favor. Kadara is an Angaran port. They want Ven dead, and I want to keep them happy. This is bigger than local politics. You don't need Ven. You need his intel. Talk to him before I put his head on a spike. 
I can work with that. See? No reason we can't be civilized. She literally like, gave me no choice. <laughs> I should have brought refreshments. <laughs> right? You should have brought refreshments. <laughs> that was funny. Give the Pathfinder access to the holding cells. Alright, so we're gonna go talk to one of the uh, prisoners here. You're not what I expected, Pathfinder. I get that He's lot. a Turian. Hmm. He's from hmm. the Milky Way. Keep staying on Sloane's good side, and I'll be really impressed. Did you switch sides with Sloane during the mutiny? I came over on Ark Natanis. Never stepped foot on the Nexus. I ran into some Natanis survivors on Havarl. They're still alive. <laughs> Must be Rix's doing. You know Avidus? We've crossed paths. The Collective is making waves in Kadara port. What's the Outcast's plan to stay on top? By not telling our strategies to strangers. That was a good answer. Sloan's second in command. <laughs> she calls me her right hand Tyrion. I'm not telling I keep you anything. The from speaking. Yeah. You and Sloan seem close. What about it? Nothing. Just wondering what's the story there. We met on the Citadel. She punched me on in the, the face when I offered to buy her a drink. Yeah, that was back on Mass Effect Seriously? 1, 2, and 3. No. Don't feed the prisoner. Don't touch the prisoner. And the only thing that passes between you two are words. Got it? Absolutely. I won't cause trouble. Wow. <laughs> Alright, so let's go meet the prisoner. Get some information. What do you want? The Archon's ship. Where is it? This a new interrogation tactic? Sloane's getting lazy. I don't answer to Sloane. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. The one who rescued the Moshai. I know who you are and what happened on Vold. How does he know about that? You're well informed for someone behind bars. Yeah. The rumors hit before I was captured. That's why the mob wants me dead. Even deserters hate me. The Archon's ship. Where is it? I never saw it. Got my orders from a Ket transponder. But you could use its frequency to triangulate the Archon's location. Do you still have it? I buried it before I was arrested. Should still be outside the city. Sweet. Thanks for the intel. So we just gotta Don't find you that transponder. Know why I did it? Why I betrayed the Moshai? Enlighten me. We're losing the war against the Ket, and still, Ephra puts my brothers and sisters in danger to protect a useless old woman. So you took things into your own hands. I made the call he wouldn't. The Archon only wanted the Moshai. I thought if I gave her up... Uh, I didn't know what the Ket were doing to my people. You resent Ephra, so the Archon used that against you. If Ephra was a better leader... Uh, it doesn't matter. And I'll accept the consequences. Wow. Okay, so he turned against his own people. Pathfinder, the communicator is buried outside the And help the cat. I suggest bringing a squad. Vetra, Drac, are you back from whatever it was you were doing? Yep, our completely legitimate business deal went off without a hitch. <laughs> <laughs> Benefit of bringing a Krogan along. Tell Gil to prep the Nomad. I need to go outside the city. Okay, so anyway, the prisoner let us know uh, that he left a transponder with the, uh, the location of the Kets, I guess, leader. Uh, so we have to basically go find where he uh, basically buried this transponder. is outside of this city, so we don't have to leave the planet. We can stay on this planet, we just gotta take the Nomad, you know, our, our vehicle. The awesome vehicle that it is, and uh, just basically ride it out there and look for this buried location. Get the transponder. And find the Archon ship or the the Kets leader. 
the cat are like I said, they're like the main enemies uh, in this galaxy. Boom. Okay, so the Tempest is done. We're taking off. Let's do it. Interesting uh, planet. Uh, might come back later at another time. Wait, was I supposed to leave the planet? I don't think I was... Oh, damn, I was supposed to stay on the planet. Oh, whatever, who cares? Uh, so anyway, I'm just going to end it here. Um, thanks for uh, watching uh, this uh, introduction to Mass Effect Andromeda. What's up, Ryder? Why an emergency meeting? I didn't call it. I did. Got some disturbing news while we were on Kadara. There's some tension at the Krogan colony on Eladin. It's bad. Tension among Krogan? You don't say. Really? I wouldn't waste your time with this if it wasn't important. We need to go. I agree. Nakmor Morta made herself overlord of the colony. It's weird. No. Our priority is the Archon. We have to remain focused on his next move. Jal's right. I know dealing with so many unknowns is frustrating, but we need to hear each other out. Well, as long as we're pitching stuff, I overheard outlaws on Kadara talking about activity in the Ramav system. No, that's the system where the Turian Golden World was supposed to be. Ramav? There aren't any viable planets there. Only an asteroid field with mining ventures run by criminals. I hear Eladin's pretty rough too. Roving scavengers with nothing to lose. They're literally creating quests for me as we speak. No one fights harder than people with nothing to lose. We still have to find the Ket transponder. That'll lead us to the Archon's ship. Our goal is to create our home here. You never know how something might fit in. Anyway, get Callow the nav points for both Eladin and that potential Turian Golden World. We want all our options ready to go. Hey. I didn't say dismissed or meeting adjourned <laughs> or anything. Meeting adjourned. As I didn't tell you guys to move. What are you doing? <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. I'm going to end it here. Um, thanks for watching Mass Effect Andromeda and Boss Gaming Network introduction. Uh, definitely go to uh, bossgaming.net to buy any merchandise, t shirts, consoles, accessories. Uh, monthly subscriptions for your PlayStations, Xboxes, Nintendo's, or Steam. Uh, and definitely, and as always, boss up. <laughs>